Well, in the second leg of the relegation playoff, Lyon hosted Troyes, looking to overturn a first leg deficit in order to maintain their league and status. Troyes arrived in Brittany with a valuable 2-1 lead, aiming to relegate Le Merleau and return to the top flight at the first time of asking. Bernard Cassoni knew his Lyon side only needed a 1-0 win thanks to Majid Waris' strike in Troyes and the home side were crying out for a chance to open the scoring from the spot. But Clément Turpin wasn't interested in Benjamin McCandjo's claim. A slow start for Troyes and coach Jean-Louis Garcia should have seen his Troyes side fall behind only for McCandjo to head off the post. The striker helped Cameroon to the Africa Cup of Nations title at the start of the year but now very much in a relegation quagmire. Troyes had dominated the Stade de l'Aube but were under the coach at Le Moustoir. Roman Philippeteau tied Jeremy Cordeval in knots before picking out Macanjo. A huge chance going a begging. Would that be one Lorient would live to regret? The frustration and anger for the 28 year old evident. Well, Troyes unable to get out of their half for the majority of the first period. Mikel Siani, an obvious target, but Arnold Mavemba elected to test out former Gangon stopper Mamadou Samasa. The 27-year-old will hope to add to the 28 appearances he's made in the top flight next season. And yet the danger of Lorient being hit on the counter lurked in the shadows until Trois finally stepped into the spotlight. Karin Azamum's cutback, smacked wide by Tristan Dingom, a League 2 winner with Monaco, but unable to put Trois on the course for Ligue 1. Well, the optimism of an easy night had long evaporated from the stands in La Moustoir as the threat of relegation was suddenly only 45 minutes away if Lorient couldn't find a way past Troyes resolute defence. The Bretons aiming to preserve their Ligue 1 status after 11 successive seasons in the top flight. But Troyes appeared to be growing in confidence. Dingham finding Ligue 2 top scorer Adama Nian but his strike well pushed wide by Benjamin Lecon. Well, Troyes' youth product Jimmy Cabo was sent on to provide a spark against the side he won League 2 with two years ago. But his terrific effort curling the wrong way. Flashing past Samasa's left-hand post. Well, the keeper was under pressure again. His punch finding its way to Walid Mezloub. His effort only finding his teammate Mukanjo, who couldn't turn it in. Well, Benjamin Nive, a goal here from the first leg, came on and showed his quality that allowed the 40 year old to still play at this level. A stunning pass releasing Samuel Granser. But Lecomte managing to deny him. And the flame of Ligue 1 football for Lorient was extinguished as the final whistle began. Wild celebrations for the visitors. A 2 1 aggregate defeat relegated Lorient. Now to play second tier football for the first time since 2006. Trois in dreamland as they have earned their return to the league and spotlight. Hey, Marie